So you just bought a new three terabyte hard drive um, because you're running out of space like me here. And you plug it into your USB port and you get you get nothing. So no drive. What's the deal? It's a brand new drive. So what you have to do is right click on computer, click on left click manage, click on disk management here, and you should see the new drive. Uh, in this case it's, uh, it's still un unallocated for anything. So right click on it, create new sim and left, left click on new simple volume. Yeah, I want to create a new volume. I want to do, use the the entire drive for this new um, to be partitioned. Click next. Uh, leave it with drive E. Actually, you can change the drive letter. It doesn't matter as long as it's not being used by something else. So file system perform pick format. And then click next. If you want to look at the details, click finish. It'll do its formatting. Once it's done formatting, shouldn't take too long. Right here. Okay, so healthy primary partition. Leave it at that. Close that. And as you can see, it's already detected um, new volume E, which is the one we just created. And there it is, uh, new volume. What you could also do is, right now it's using the full, um, the full drive size, and it says 2.72. Um, generally, that's because of the uh, the space is not exactly as uh, advertised, if you will, a three gig drive or a three terabyte drive. In this case, um, the useful space is is that much. Um, there's a bunch of stuff on the internet about why that is, so you can easily look that up if you need to. Um, so don't be surprised if you plug it in and you're expecting three terabytes, and then all you get is 2.72 or somewhere thereabouts. Um, there's a calculation based on to, to get that. Anyway, so you've got that. Um, if you want to split that, up, if you want to split that up, you can easily go back to computer. Sorry, uh, right-click computer, uh, click on manage. And then disk management again, and then you can um, right-click on the new volume created, and click on shrink volume, do its thing. Say you want, uh, and this is in megabytes. So I'll go, if I go, um, let's go 20 gigs, and then click on shrink. And what that will do is shrink this volume here. And basically give you another basically you're partitioning that the, that new disk um, I know a lot of people do this if they want to store like backup data to this uh, in this case it gave me 1.9 um, or almost 2 gigs but you could change that to, to your liking before you actually start storing data on it um, again what you have to do is as you can see it's not seen yet so I'll just go back here the whole thing again, the simple volume, we're going to use the full space, so signing drive letter F, um, basically it uses anything that's not open uh, in alphabetical order, so we'll leave it as F, quick format is fine, once it is done formatting you can see it detected in the drive, and, and there's my new drive as well. Okay, hope you like the video. Hope this helps. Um, check back for more videos.